Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this beautiful paper quilling Krishna ji fridge magnet. I will share how to make the base, how to create the face and ornaments, basuri, peacock feather, everything. On back side of this I have attached the magnet. So without any further delay, let's start with the procedure. Here I am taking black color thick mount board and using 5.5 radius I am just creating one circle this is the 5.5 centimeters and using the same radius I am dividing the circle in six equal parts to create the hexagon shape now I am just joining these divisions like this and I am just cutting the hexagon shape using my scissors So this is done. Then taking yellow color thick cardstock which is having 250 gsm thickness, I am attaching this hexagon shape on yellow base and just cutting the excess paper. Similarly, I am going to attach on another side the same yellow color cardstock. So the base for magnet is ready. It's quite hard and sturdy. Then I am starting with making the face of the Krishna. For this, I am taking here light blue color 3mm strips and I am going to join total 25 strips to create one big tight coil. So tight coil is ready just securing the end using glue and I will just tell you how much the diameter is after creating the circle it is having 4 cm diameter. So it depends on the thickness of strip how much strips you need to add but the final diameter of the circle should be 4 cm. Now here I am taking my quilling mold and just shaping it like a dome. We don't need deeper dome just little bit of three dimensional effect on the face so I'm just flattening it little bit using my fingers it will come on this side of the base and uh, now I'm satisfied with the depth so I'm filling the dome using liquid glue and spreading it nicely and evenly all over the surface allow it to dry completely for a few hours Then uh, I am just sticking the face on my hexagon base. Then I will show you how to create ears. For this I am taking one strip of light blue color in 3mm and making one bended teardrop shape. My one strip length is 45 centimeters. Similarly, I have prepared one more ear. So I'm just sticking both the ears with face. Like this. Then here I have already prepared one dome for hairs using 3 strips of dark brown color in 3mm 
and uh, I have added glue inside this. After drying, I am just cutting the dome from center to create the half dome for the bun of the hairs. And then I'm just sticking this dome on top of the face. So before that, we just need to cover the forehead section of face using some brown color strips to look like a uh, hairs. So I'm just diagonally attaching the hairs like this. Then here I am taking one strip of dark brown color and just opening the strip like this by twisting the tool so that you will get the curly hair pattern. Now I am just dividing this curly strip in small parts. And I have already added these hairs on one side. Now I am attaching the hairs on other side. And then sticking this half dome on top of the head like this. Hold it for a few minutes and allow it to dry. Then here I am taking red color paper which is 20 by 6.5 centimeter. And this is simple 90 GSM origami paper. And I am just rolling it from one corner to create the flute of Krishna. Just curling the paper a little bit and then we have to create tight pipe. I am dividing this uh, paper from center because we don't need that much long. And then uh, just making the tight flute so that it will be sturdy and the flute is ready. Chopping both the corners to create the nice edges and the flute is ready. Very very easy to make. Now I'm just wrapping one yellow color strip around the flute for little designing. And then just sticking the flute with the face like this. Then to create hands, I am taking here three strips of light blue color in 3mm and making one tight teardrop dome. Similarly, I have prepared one more hand. So just adding glue inside both the hands, spreading it using glue and sticking it with the flute. Like this. 
Then to create ornaments, here I am taking one fourth strip of red color in 3mm and making one tight coil. Similarly, I prepared some more. And these green tight coils are also made using one fourth strip of green color. Now for the teardrop shape, I am taking here half strip of red color and making one teardrop shape. Similarly, I have prepared some more. Now taking back the Krishna and one by one, I will start adding these designs to create the necklace portion. I have already created this neck using one strip of light blue color in 3mm. This is simple bended leaf shape. So first I am sticking the neck and then I will add the ornaments. Now to decorate the teardrop portion, I am just adding some silver colored stones. And then here I am taking these stone chains to decorate the bun portion. Also adding two red color tight coils which are made using half strips of red color on both the ears as a earring and uh, decorating this also using silver color stones and this is completely done and dried and it's looking very very beautiful now I will share how to create the hand ornament section for this I am taking one fourth strip of light green color making one tight coil so we need total three tight coils for one hand and one small piece of stone chain now I'm just decorating this in the bottom of palm And this is done then to create feather here I am taking half strip of yellow color and one strip of light green color and making one Malaysian flower petal then wrapping this petal using dark green color strip And then to create small feather hairs, here I am taking small piece of dark green color 3mm strip and just creating 4 loops in increasing order and twisting it in one direction like this. Similarly, I have prepared some more feathers. So I am just joining these feathers on both sides of this Malaysian flower petal. And the feather is ready now I'm just sticking the feather on top of the head portion looking very very gorgeous then to create nose here I'm taking one strip of blue color dividing it in center again dividing it from center and creating one fourth strip now I am just cutting the strip from center to make thin strip and uh, making one teardrop shape for nose then 
then just sticking the nose in the center of the face and to complete the nose portion i am taking the remaining small thin strip and dividing it from center creating two tight coils and sticking on both side of the nose so this is done then i am just drawing eyes using my black permanent marker like this and creating the tika using red color gel pen then decorating the edge of this hexagon shape using some white color half cut pearls and randomly on the background i am adding some golden color stones here and there and also attaching the magnet on back side of this hexagon shape using strong adhesive and the beautiful paper quilling krishna magnet is ready you can create this before the janmashtami festival and you can also give this to your dearer ones so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.